This is the Amazon Fire 8 tablet. And this is the Amazon Fire 7. We also have the Editab 10 Pro and the Editab 8 Pro. So today I'll be walking you through how your kids can use our educational kids tablets to learn how to code. But before that, I'll walk you through a series of applications that comes pre-installed on our educational tablet. We have the same educational applications installed on all our tablets. So you can see on the Editab 8 Pro that we have these applications installed. On the Editab 10 Pro, we also have the same applications installed. And on the Amazon Fire 7, we also have these applications installed on it. Our tablets have the split screen feature, which allows you to run more than one application at a time. So you can have two applications running side by side. In this case, we can open the coding folder and then we click on learn Python. Here we have the Python interpreter. So to run another application by it, we can click here and then we shift, we shift it to the left side of the screen. We click on home and then back to the coding folder, we select the learn Python. So I have my Python tutorial to the right and then my Python code interpreter to the left. So I can learn from um, the tutorial on the right and then I'll be able to copy the code and execute it on the left side using my Python interpreter. So let's say I want to um, learn about Python decision making. I can click on this. So after reading everything that I need to know on Python decision making, I can scroll down and then copy the example that I have here. Copy it this way and then paste it here. Then I click on run and I can see my outputs here. So you can see value of expression is 100 goodbye. So I'll walk you through these applications. Most of our applications are offline applications. So there is no need for data plan or Wi-Fi connectivity to access these applications. And we have the nursery folder, which contains a list of applications for nursery education. And then we have some for KG, some for class one, all the way to BEC. So all these apps will aid your world in their studies. Now let's move on to the coding. When I click on the coding folder, you can see that we have a list of applications in the coding folder. So today I'll walk you through how your child can use this to create a website. First, we'll be using the W3Schools application. So we click on W3Schools. Here we have a list of coding tutorials that your world could use. So we have tutorials on SQL, on PSP, jQuery, and all the other programming frameworks and programming languages. So for the purpose of creating the websites, we will be using HTML. So your child can click on learn HTML here. And then they have a tutorial on how to create websites using HTML. You can try using the Verifex example. To do that, we click on try it yourself. And then we are taken to this page where we have our code editor on the left and then the output on the right. So I can make modifications to any parts of this code. And on my website, I want my heading to be red colored. I can just click on this heading element here, H1 element here. And then I can add the color to it. Yeah, I type style is equal to. And then I set the color. So the color here will be set to red. When I click on see results and see that the heading has changed. Let's say for this paragraph, I want my text to be centered. I can also add tiles to it for it to center my paragraph, I can add the text align then set it to center. And so now when I run it, you can see that my text here will be centered. Here you can make a lot of modifications to um, the code. 
And so you can go through, your child can go through the examples that are listed on this page, one after the other. When I click on this one, you can see that all the tutorials related to HTML are listed here. So it takes your child right through the introduction, how to use editors, how to um, use the elements, attributes, headings, paragraphs, styles, and all these things. So your world is covered when it comes to all these programming languages. And they'll be able to write their own websites and also develop their own applications, both web and mobile. From this screen, you can see that our tablet is completely offline. So we have no SIM card inserted. There is no Wi-Fi connected to this device. But we are able to access most of our applications without the internet. And so all these things come with all of our tablets and you'll be able to use the majority of the applications on our tablet without the internet. You can find all these tablets that are quoted with tablets. So going back to this folder, you can see that we have a ton of applications. We have the A code, which is also a code editor that your world can use if they are not comfortable using um, the W3Schools editor. So can click on that. We have our code editor here that your world can use in their programming. You can just type anything in the code editor here. They can also copy the code from the mu 3 schools and copy all of it from the mu 3 schools and then they can run it in the code editor. I click here, control plus V and then I paste my code in the editor. So to save it, I click on the three dots at the top right corner here. I click on that and I click on save as. So here I'll be asked to select my folder. So let's say if I want to save it in my downloads folder, I can click on the downloads folder here and then I can enter the name of this file. So maybe hello.html and then I click on OK. So you can see that the name of the file has been changed to hello.html. And when you look at the top right corner of the screen, you can see that now we have a play button here or a run button. So I can click on this to run my code and then it will open a browser window for me to see the output of my code. I can always go back to my code editor and make modifications to my code. I can change the title of my page. So I can name this my first website and then I can always click on this run button again and you can see here I have my first website so it has seen the title of the web page. Now I'll walk you through how to learn artificial intelligence using our educational case tablets. So you first click on the coded folder and then you click on Learn AI. This app will teach your world everything they need to know about artificial intelligence. We scroll down and then we realize that there are um, courses here that will teach your world everything they need to know about artificial intelligence. We have AI with Python, which has about eight lessons. And then we have Python lessons that are about 59, 59 Python lessons. So you can scroll down and you can see that there are various subsections. So we have a section on full artificial intelligence. This one has four lessons. That's the AI introduction. We have intelligent agents, which is also four lessons. And then we have problem solving, which is about five lessons. And the adversarial search, which is about three lessons. So you can scroll down and you will see that there are countless educational contents here for your world to feed on. So I can scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. There are so many, so many lessons that your kids can learn from. Quickly, you will go through um, the Python lessons. I would have to first split up my screen. I push this one here. And then I open Learn Python, which will provide me with an interpreter to be able to execute my code. I click on the interpreter here, 
which gives me a code editor where I can write my code and also run my code. So on the left side, I have my Python tutorials and on the right side, I have the code editor. I will take you through variables. So we will do a simple illustration here using variables. So let's say I declare a variable x and I assign it a value of name. So when I come down here and I type print x and then I run this, I'm supposed to see name here. And that's right. So let's do some basic arithmetic using Python. So let's say I assign x the value of 10, and then I assign y the value of 20. I can perform a basic arithmetic using the Python interpreter. Okay, I can add the value of x to the value of y. x here is 10, and y here is also 20. Adding x and y, after running this, we will realize that we get 30 as an answer in the console. So we can run arithmetic operations using Python and AI operations as well. So I can now go back to my normal view. When I go back to the coding folder, you will realize that we have um, other applications as well. So we have the terms which will allow your words to be able to execute commands on the shell. This provides your child with a terminal that they can use to execute um, programs like Python, PHP. So they can install Python using the shell. They can run PHP. They can run and install Node.js. Basically, anything that has to do with programming, they can do it using this particular application. Thank you.
have, you must multiply 3 by F7 C6 Chris G0 Rai to get his answer. <laughs> Matthew will have a total of F7 C6 Chris G0 Rai polybots. <laughs>